you're now at 30, 29 to 31 years old. You went mm -hmm. to 36. Well, mm -hmm. male, you know, peak market value mm -hmm. is 36 to 37 right. years old. Female market value based on your mm -hmm. rationale is 20 to 23 to 20, 24. Mm -hmm. Continue. What happens okay. after well, that? Well, not necessarily my rationale. This is this is backed up by research and data. There's a great book called Dataclism, and it was written by the guy who was the founder, I believe, of OKCupid. And... Um, Today in the internet you know, age, we now have data that we never had in the history of humanity right, right. now, especially, I don't know if you guys, are, I, I brought this up when I was on You Are Here with Elijah Schaefer. Um, if you go and you look at the Pornhub um, blog site, not the Pornhub site, but- All you I look do at is Pornhub, watch the blog yeah, site yeah, just read the That's what, my favorite just, website. But, uh, they, just put, they just produced the, uh, the stats for 2021. Um, of basically what what were the search you know terms what were the most misspelled search terms yeah and and by state like who who looks for what and we have such accurate data um, of, that tells of, you like about, the peak market value is twenty three never had really that. we have never had I that. Can well, well, yeah, I can actually see that I can actually see data so what were some so, of the biggest well, findings so anyways and I don't mean so much on 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 the Pornhub thing but like in a in a data that's mm -hmm. where I get that uh, that's where my, the basis of the hmm. idea that men find only you know, find that age of woman the most attractive because it's, it's from their data sets um, for women it's uh, if the woman is like say 25 she's looking for a guy the guy's more attractive is about 27 maybe 28 and then it staggers up at the older that woman gets the older the men get so mm -hmm. it's sort of this you know staggering for men it's only 22 23 mm -hmm. 20 across the board from all the way from like 15 year old guys in in high school all the way up to 95 year old guys in you know assisted living so um, that's uh, everything I'm getting at here is not opinion pieces. All of this is backed up by hard, hard data that anybody can find, by the way, you, we have Google right now. We can, I, I quote data sets from evolutionary psychologists, anthropologists, neuro, you know, psychologists, sociologists, there's all kinds of data sets that we've never had before. So it's not just me sort of pulling this out of my ass. It is based on research that has, you know, been going on really in some cases since like the seventies, but all the way up to where we are right now. So when we get to sort of what I call the epiphany phase, 29 to 31 years old, that's when women decide that that's, you know, I'm going to have to check out of the sexual marketplace. I got to find a guy to go forward from here. And that's when women will express the most frustration with men. They will say, where are the nice guys? Where are the guys that, that how come these guys don't have their shit together? How come they, they, uh, they haven't gone to college? How come I can't find the guy that I want to go forward into life with right now? And that's a whole nother topic to, to get into when we talk about the crisis of masculinity. But when they get to that point at, at 29 to 30, you know, three years old, somewhere around there, that is when the, that's when that sort of angst comes in. If you look at the, uh, another data set, if you look at the, the average age of first marriage, it occurs right around 29.8, I think, or almost wow. about 30 yeah. for men and about 28 to 29 years old for women today. And that is in the United States. It's even older in the UK. So there's only other. a one year difference yeah, is what you're saying? That is exactly where I pegged it on that, on that chart. Exactly. Now, so if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, Click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.